How to make wearable leather from brains. And stick around till the end for my survivor's secret. The world is broken. Your pre-war gear has rotted away, but nature still provides. Today, we're using every part of the hunt to survive. And that includes the most unlikely part of all, the brains. You'll need the animal's hide, a salvaged knife or sharp shard of metal, a log or flat rock, a fire, and most importantly, the animal's brain. Step one, fleshing. Lay the hide out and scrape away every last shred of meat and fat. A clean hide is the foundation of real leather. Step two, my least favorite, brains. Smash them into a paste with warm water. This greasy sludge is slammed with natural oils that seep into the hide and keep it soft. Step three, now comes the grind. Soak the hide in the brain mash, then twist, wring, stretch, and knead it over and over. If you let it dry stiff, you've just made rawhide, not what we want. If you keep it moving, you're making leather. Step four, the final step, smoke it. Suspend it above a smoldering fire. The smoke bonds with the oils, waterproofing the leather and giving it a dark, earthy finish. It's the difference between gear that rots and gear that lasts. Congrats, you've turned a raw skin into buckskin with some brains and brawn. The kind of leather our ancestors lived and died in. Jackets, packs, laces, even simple shoes. It's the material that kept tribes alive for centuries. Survivor's secret. Don't forget the sinew, the animal's tendons and ligaments. Dry them and you've got thread to stitch your new leather. No waste, just survival.